Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Robert Kemeny with Network Consulting Services Incorporated. Today, I'd like to walk you through how to automate your agent installation for Imperva's Atalus company, uh, Data Activity Monitoring Agent. Let's get started right in the console. When you're ready, get logged into the support portal at support.imperva.com. If you don't have an account, you can sign up for one. Once you're there, go to the download section. And in the download section, you'll find all of the relevant agents that you might need for your particular database. Uh, you can visit imperva.com for the database coverage tool if you're unsure of which databases we have agents for. Once you're there and you pick the appropriate database for which you need uh, an agent and download that zip file, we'll get those copies of those files over to your database server. Once they're in extracted, you'll notice that you have two installation files. One is an agent installation uh, executable or MSI, and the other one is an agent installation manager for being able to update your agent's binaries. We start with just the agent, the imperva-ragent-windows binary first, and we'll follow that up with the agent installation manager. Once those have been extracted, you can obviously run those manually, but then you're gonna get an interactive uh, prompt for how to configure that agent. Um, for a video on that, you can check our website uh, and, and see a video that I've done explaining how to manually install that. Um, today, we're gonna use the command line to quietly install that agent. Here's our first command. And then we'll follow that up with our answer file and in this file, we're passing the parameters necessary to automate that installation, such as specifying uh, if we're monitoring just the DB traffic or if this is for file integrity monitoring or uh, what have you. We'll specify our site name, our host name and our site name and our server group, and then pass some information about the gateway with which this agent is to register and its port. Um, how to uh, activate that. And most importantly, you'll need your Imperva account password, which is for agent registration on the gateway. The last thing we'll do is follow that up with starting the SecureSphere remote agent service so that that agent is actively running. Then we'll get logged into the MX to make sure that that agent is reporting successfully. So let's get started. We'll copy this command. We'll paste that into our uh, command prompt. And it is important that we run this as an administrator. We can go ahead and select our answer file here. We'll copy that. Get that right into our administrator command prompt. Then we see that it's successfully registered to the gateway. So the last command we want to run here is to start the service. We'll copy that, paste that into our command prompt that's elevated, and it will take just a few minutes for that service to get started and for it to register on the gateway, and thus for us to subsequently see it in our MX. Let's go get logged in on that side so that we can double check. Okay, getting logged into our MX, we can go to our Agents tab, our Sites, and we can see here that our new SQL2 server agent has been successfully registered, and it does usually take about three to four minutes for that service to realize that it's running, to do its checks and sums and balances, and then we'll see this changed to running. And you can always just choose the little blue refresh arrow in there to keep tabs on that. That's how we automate or are able to script our agent installation. We can do the same and pass the appropriate answer file to the agent installation manager. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see the agent installation manager automation as well, or if you'd like to see some additional advanced scripting for this answer file so that you could deploy this 
um, en masse, or if you want to just pass that answer file to your engineers that will install on the various servers, and then you don't have to keep tabs on them. You can just make sure that it, you check into the console here and get that the agents are here, and we can see now that that one's running. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions about Imperva, uh, let us know. Reach out to NCSI. We're happy to help you. Thanks. Have a great day.